Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the USB-C output of your DJI FPV goggles with a DJI Air unit, how to get video output from that into a Mac computer, which is a really exciting feature that's finally come out unofficially not supported by DJI. But let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, I have here just a normal Mac, uh, a MacBook Air and the version one DJI goggles um, and a DJI air unit uh, inside of this uh, Bumblebee drone and um, normal USB-C uh, to USB adapter that's standard with a Mac uh, and finally I've got a USB-C cable that plugs into that adapter it goes into the Mac. And I'm gonna show you on a Mac how to install uh, everything you need in order to cast uh, essentially the, the, the video output from the goggles onto your screen, uh, which is pretty epic. So this should be for um, the layman and super easy to follow, I hope. Uh, let's get started. So first thing you need to do is open up a program called Terminal on your Mac and most likely you do not have something called brew installed. So go ahead and open up Chrome and go to brew sh. And just copy this command right here and paste it in your terminal. And you put in your password that you use for your, your MacBook to log in normally. This may take a moment. And because this is most likely the first time you've ever installed anything unless you're a developer, um, it's going to take a little bit because there's so many dependencies for it to install. Okay, it's asking for the password again. I might have typed it in wrong, okay. Ah. Okay, let's try that again. All right, that's better. This is taking forever. Okay, so let's make sure brew is installed. So if I just do which brew, it has some output so you know it's installed. So the next step is we're going to use brew to install a couple tools. The first one is called node. So that command is brew space install space node. Okay, and again you could use which space node to make sure there's some output and that means node is installed. Now we can use brew again, uh, brew space install ffmpeg and that's going to be our video player. Uh, node is what will run the code um, and ffmpeg is what will process the video the video output from the goggles so that you can actually see it on your screen. And um, FFmpeg has a lot of dependencies. This will take a long time as well, just like your command to install brew took a long time.
Okay. Now that we have downloaded basically the entire internet on our computer, uh, let's make sure we have um, FF Play available, and we do. So at this point, we're going to download the open source code um, that makes this hack possible. And so we're going to use a site that most open source code is on called GitHub. So if you just go to github.com, uh, you can search for fpv-wtf and um, go to users and there they are. You can also just type in github.com fpv-wtf and this is the VOC POC. POC is like a proof of concept. Um, I'm not sure what VO, oh, the video out club. Okay. So you go here and there's this um, command to download this repo onto your computer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just click this here. And let's make sure we have git, which we do. So I'm just going to type git space clone and then paste in that URL and hit enter. So this downloaded the code into uh, a directory called voc.poc. So if you just do cd into it, it'll change the directory inside of it. ls will list the contents. Uh, and now at this point, we should be able to do something called npm install, which is the node package manager. If you remember, the, one of the first tools we installed was node, which runs the code. npm install will download even more dependencies and code to your computer. By the end of this, you're going to have so many developer tools on your computer. Maybe you can call yourself a developer. But uh, just give this a moment to install all the node dependencies, and we are almost done. Hang tight. Um, all right. So now that that is installed, I'm going to type node space index.js, which contains the code to run this. Um, and just bear with me as I type this in. So it's dash O, and then you do a pipe command, and then we do FF play. And just kind of follow me here. I'll also put this command in the description of this video so that you can just copy and paste it. something in incorrectly. Yes, I did two dashes rather than one dash on FF on F flags. Just make sure you get this command right. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, so you can see I have this error here. Uh, goggles, USB device not found. So at this point, um, we're going to plug in the goggles. So if um, and plug in the battery here. So if you do use the um, temperature control, um, turn off, you can either turn off auto temperature control on the goggles um, or the air unit or uh, arm the quad uh, to be able to see video. But if, if you don't do any of that, I mean, for me it just worked. I just plugged it in and it worked. So we've got the goggles on. I will go ahead and plug in USB-C uh, from the goggles into my adapter here and plug that directly into the Mac USB-C port and be sure you, you turn your you safely you know take off the props 
can plug plug in your plug in your drone. And we'll just give it a second for video to appear in the goggles. Okay, I see video coming through. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just press the up arrow to have that command show up again. I'm just gonna press enter. And boom, um, sometimes this uh, sometimes this video doesn't come up. If, if not, you can like swipe up and you can usually find the window. Um, but yeah, you, as you can see, it is, I mean, this is the real deal, guys. This is, uh, this is my drone and it's a live video feed. Um, and that's it. And if you wanna just kill it, you can just um, hold control C and it stops the stream, you know. And okay, so there you have it. That is uh, basically the setup instructions from scratch um, to get the DJI FPV video output hack to work on a Mac step by step. If you guys run into any issues, um, as you go through this, be sure to comment below in the video and I'll do my best to respond and help you out. I am a developer. I code all day long. It's what I do for a living. I did not um, have any part in what this hack is, uh, but I'm grateful for the people who spent the time to figure out how to do it so that all of us can be able to benefit finally to have other people participate with us in our hobby at a digital level. So thank you for watching, please subscribe.